Hey lovelies, it's Ebony and I'm back with another video for you. As you can tell from the title that this video is all about skincare. And if you look closely, I am not wearing any makeup. It's been a while since I've done a video without makeup, but I wanted to make sure I didn't put on any makeup at all for this video because I wanted you guys to see my skin. If I was recording this video about a month ago, I would for sure not want you guys looking at my skin because it has been a struggle lately. Like my skin has been breaking out and not just, you know, pimple here, pimple there. It's been, my forehead has been breaking out and like those hard under the surface, like can't pop it. But even if you could pop it, you really wouldn't want to pop it because it looks crazy. And um, I've been breaking out of my cheeks. I, I just, you know, I'm like, what's going on? Like, I can only blame this on my period for so long because I'm not getting a period every week. So I just couldn't understand what was going on with my skin. I've been using my go-to products just like normal, but all of a sudden, nothing is really working right with my skin. I drink water. I don't drink a lot of juices and sodas. I hardly ever drink any of that stuff unless it's like a all natural type of thing because there's a lot of sugar and soda and juices and it can just flare up acne on your face. And of course, water for obvious reasons is the better thing to drink. So yeah, I was just really confused, like what the heck is going on with my skin? But things started to turn around when I took a trip to Pittsburgh. Two of my sisters were there, Kristen and Gia, and both of their skin looked flawless. And I'm like, what are y'all using on your face? Like, they never really had like a lot of acne issues growing up. And I never really had a huge problem either. I was, you know, average, not really breaking out sometimes or break out, but nothing like, you know, serious. But now all of a sudden it's becoming an issue. So I'm like, what are y'all using on your face? They directed me to different products I'm gonna talk about in this video. I went to that website and once I got there, I was like, ooh, I want that, I want this, I want this. And I decided that I would film this video this week because I wanted to share with you guys. The site is having a 25% off sale right now and I don't really know how long that's gonna last. I'm assuming through the weekend since it's Memorial Day weekend. But just in case they aren't, I just wanted you guys to see this sooner than later. So yeah, if you're struggling with any type of acne or just looking for some new products to try because what you are currently using isn't really working, then you are definitely in the right place. Now, before we get started, I'm gonna give you a close up of my skin just to see what I'm dealing with and we'll go from there. So as you can tell, like I have some dark spots on my forehead. Let me see, what if I can turn these lights out so y'all can see better? Oh, I think this will work. Yeah, so you can see I have like a lot of acne scars on my forehead because you know that whole popping a zit thing will leave a scar and if you don't pop it, you won't get a scar. Like I think that's completely BS because I did not pop all these pimples on my forehead. Sometimes just the mere fact that they existed left a scar on my forehead. Now you can see I have like one here and um, they're just kind of round on my cheeks. So yeah, that's really been a big issue for me. And then I had a lot of acne, like as you can see from the scar, just on my forehead and my cheeks. And I had a lot of texture too, like texture bumps along here, um, maybe down here, just always feeling like there was something in my skin. Like what is going on? I just couldn't feel, I just didn't feel like my skin was clean and free of um, impurities or my pores were clogged. Um, I have large pores around here so I just had a lot of things going on now before I move on I know I'm gonna probably get comments like that's not that bad what are you complaining about listen skin care and acne is personal to everybody so whatever it is that you're dealing with feels like a problem to you I don't really care what someone else's acne looks like compared to yours if your skin is going crazy compared to what it normally looks like whatever that looks like then that's your issue. You know, be sensitive to one another and don't try to dismiss people's concerns with their skin just because maybe yours is worse or you know someone whose is worse. Like, I got some of that on my Instagram account and I was just like, come on y'all. Like, everybody's problems are relative to them, you know? So we're just here to share and talk about, you know, what works for us and maybe to help somebody else. Now let's get started. Now the first thing I'm gonna mention is a cleanser because that's normally what you reach for first when it's time to take care of your face. You wanna wash it, exfoliate, moisturize, whatever, but you always wanna get your face clean first. And what I've been using is the Avino Clear Complexion Daily Cleansing Pads. I've been using these pads for years, like probably 
I don't know, four years or so. Now just to let you guys know, I have normal to oily skin and Aveeno seems to be a product that just works well for my face when it comes to cleansing. I've used their moisturizers in the past and I, it used to work well for me, it doesn't anymore, so I just kind of stick to the cleaning pads, the cleansing pads. And for some reason, these are so hard to find. Like, I used to get them from Walmart and Target, wherever, for like, I don't know, almost $6 a jar, and you get 28 pads in here. But for some reason, I can't find them at all anymore. I only find the cleanser in the bottle where, you know, it's a solution as opposed to a pad. And I'm thinking like, are they getting rid of this because they want to be more green? You know, these, I mean, their pads are biodegradable, but it creates, you know, a lot of trash and waste or whatever. So I'm assuming maybe that's why it's hard to find because I can only find these on Amazon. And I think that that's a little much when Aveeno is right there in the store. What I do want to also make sure I mention is these products are, I won't say abrasive because they do have, like the, the pad has one rough side that's for exfoliation and one soft side or smooth side for just cleansing. But even the side that's a little bit rough for, you know, the exfoliation, it's not that rough. Um, but I've learned recently that I should not be using that rough side all the time. <laughs> Anytime I use these pads, I always use the rough side and it's been that way for years until recently I saw all the drama with the Kylie Jenner skin line that she's coming out with, you know, skincare, wash, blah, blah, blah. And one of her products is a walnut scrub. So everyone's like all up in arms because the walnut shells or whatever, they're very like harsh on your face. They create microscopic tears in your skin, which can lead to breakouts, infections, all kinds of craziness. And it made me think like, wow, like I know this isn't a walnut scrub, but <laughs> maybe I shouldn't be using the exfoliant side every time I use these to wash my face. So now I've been using just the smooth side, maybe this other side, you know, for, you know, maybe once a week or so because I don't need to be exfoliating my skin with this every day. But I'm one of those people when I clean, like when I brush my teeth, anything, like I need to like really get in there and scrub, scrub, scrub. <laughs> so that's what I was doing with my face. And I think that was creating, you know, little breakouts and texture and little areas that were being affected by the constant exfoliation I was doing with these pads. Skin on your face is very delicate, so you want to be sure that you're treating it with much more care. Unlike me, I'm scrubbing my face like I'm scrubbing the sink or something. <laughs> so I just have to learn to use a lighter hand. Now the next product I'm gonna mention is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel. I started using this moisturizer just last year after I saw Kerry Washington in the commercial and I thought she was so gorgeous. <laughs> and I like the fact that the product was being promoted by her. So I was just like, let me try, let me see. <laughs> That's how I used to choose my skincare products, y'all, in case y'all were wondering. <laughs> but that has all changed now, okay? I really like this moisturizer because it's nice and light and cool and just perfect for the warm months. I didn't use this in the winter months because I felt like, because I felt like my skin was just get too dry. Um, and I needed something that felt a little bit more creamy or oily or something because, you know, winter is just freezing cold and dry outside. This just wasn't cutting it. Um, I just recently stopped using this because I just felt like it wasn't doing much. I don't know if my skin is just over it um or what but i just i i'm not, I'm not gonna throw it out i'm gonna continue to use it until it's done i might even revisit it later down the line maybe in the summer months or something but right now i just feel like mm, it's okay but i have something that's better now the moisturizer that i'm using now that seems to be doing a pretty good job of keeping my skin moisturized and just all together feeling good is the glow recipe watermelon glow uh what is it Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer. I don't know if you can see that. If you guys are following me on Instagram, and if you aren't, you should be at Epps Curly TV, then you will see that I just recently posted these products, uh, the Glow products on Sunday. They have a moisturizer, a brightening serum, a sleep mask, and I'm forgetting one, I'm forgetting one. Oh God, what is it? I'm just looking at my Instagram. Oh. It's right here <laughs> in the ultra fine mist uh the watermelon glow ultra fine mist this is just like you know if you want to hydrate your skin in the middle of the day you want to set your makeup you want to uh, use it on your makeup brush to make your colors more pigmented things like that now the thing i like about this moisturizer is that it has high 
think it's hyaluronic hyaluronic acid in it i'm not exactly sure if i'm pronouncing that correctly but basically hyaluronic acid can hold moisture on your face it keeps your skin hydrated throughout the day and that's something that you really need if you want to fight off wrinkles and um, all kinds of stuff that you, you know you just don't want going off your skin so <laughs> I need something like that to keep my face nice and plump and supple and just hydrated my skin is a little bit on the oily side so I don't really need to be adding oil to my skin also what I really really love about this product is the smell like oh my god the watermelon smell it's like watermelon bubble gum like or candy or just juice like it just it smells so good. And it's also anti-inflammatory to help ward off, you know, pimples and that, you know, that inflammation that can come along with those very hard pimples. Oof, oh my God, like, ugh. of course it's vegan, so you can't go wrong with that. And the next product I'm gonna mention is a good product that just kind of fell into my lap, like unexpectedly. I wasn't looking for it, I wasn't asking for it. <laughs> it came in my Ipsy package, so I decided let me try it. I looked it up on Sephora, it had some really good reviews and and here i am adding one more good review it's the face hero oil i've never heard of this product i don't know if you guys can see that i've never heard of this product like i said it came in my ipsy package i was just like okay what's this they normally send me some good stuff so i tried it i've been trying it for a few days now and i absolutely love this face oil like Oh my goodness, I'm so sick of putting coconut oil on my face because it just doesn't work anymore. <laughs> and I needed something to put on my face that felt like, you know, wasn't full of the, you know, couple good oils and then these other things that I didn't really know what they were. Like I wanted something all natural. I wanted something that, you know, I could feel good about putting on my face and this is it. So maybe I really was looking for something. I just didn't realize. <laughs> anyways i'm just gonna read straight from the label because it says all it needs to say to let you know how good of a product it is um but it is a powerful and protective face oil it's pure potent it has pure potent super oils and antioxidants that penetrate deeply to hydrate revive and ensure your lovely face against the appearance of fine lines and dark spots face hero is your all-in-one skin guardian and best friend their packaging is a little bit funny and like <laughs> jokey but i really feel like they take this skincare stuff seriously like the fact that it helps with dark spots, that's what I initially, that, that's what drew me to it when I saw it in the packaging. I was just like, okay, dark spots, let me see if this will work too because I need something. And I really, what I really like about this face oil is that it, my skin absorbs it very quickly. Um, it doesn't sit on my face. I don't feel like, oh, you know, like greasy and slippery. Like it absorbs really well. It doesn't have a weird smell. It's just, I feel good putting it on my face and I've been using it for a couple of weeks now. I don't use it every day. I probably use it like once every other day or maybe every couple of days because I just don't necessarily feel the need. But I'll definitely use this after using any type of clarifying mask because I feel like those masks just suck everything out of your face and you can't just put a moisturizer on top of that, especially a, uh, especially a moisturizer that's oil free like the one I'm using. And you know, you know your skin needs some oil. That's how you fight wrinkles and dryness and dullness and all that kind of stuff. So you need to put some type of oil on your skin to you know bring it back to life before just putting moisturizer on top now it's time to talk about the fun stuff the products that really inspire me to even make this video and those are my clarifying mask or my exfoliating mask or my acne mask just a bunch of good stuff so the first mask i'm going to mention is one of the masks that my sister uh suggested i use and that's the body shop himalayan charcoal purifying glow mask now a lot of the products i'm going to name are from the body shop like you know what's so funny about the body shop is i saw it and <laughs> i see it in the mall all the time and i walk past and i'm like they still open people still shopping in there <laughs> because i never hear anyone talk about it at least you know not people i talk to <laughs> and i never you know i never even go in because it's, it's like one of those stores that's just I don't even know where to start. It's like lotions and creams and body butters and I'm like, eh, I don't really wanna spend $20 on a body butter, so no thank you. But clearly I was mistaken and under the wrong impression because the body shop knows what they're doing. Like completely know, <laughs> they completely know what they're doing. This mask is the best mask I think I've ever put on my face. I like to keep my uh, skincare regimen pretty simple and quick, but this mask definitely slowed me down I hope I can show you guys this. Okay, yeah. Kind of looks like um, ice cream a little bit, like melted ice cream maybe. I don't know, yogurt. <laughs> but anyways, this mask feels, first of all, 
remember how I felt like I had a lot of impurities in my face and my skin, um, like my pores were clogged. This mask, just you put it on your face, it reaches in and takes everything out of the pores that do not belong. I am telling you the complete truth. Like, I just, it's just a good mask, y'all. <laughs> it's so good. And what I really like about it is it takes everything out and when you wipe it off, it's like an act of exfoliation for your skin. So not only are your pores very clean, your skin feels so smooth. And these products have a lot of natural ingredients. I'm not sure if they're completely, like fully all natural, but they have a lot of natural ingredients inside. And I feel like it's just doing so much good for my skin. I feel like every time I use it, it's something that is just like feeding my skin exactly what it needs. It's giving it the nourishment that it needs. And it's something that when this is gone, I'm gonna buy again and again and again. Like I hope they never discontinue this stuff. What I like about it the most is this drying effect on pimples as well. There were some times that I would use this mask just on certain parts of my face because one thing you do wanna be careful about this mask is you don't wanna use it every day. You don't even really wanna use it every other day. It recommends that you use it three to four times a week so maybe four times might be every other day but I think that might be three times in a week to me is enough because it's very strong like it's like a it's a clarifying mask. I mean it doesn't say it but it feels like a clarifying mask when it's on your face you can feel it's like a very very light pulsing that's going on maybe it's my imagination but I just feel like as it tightens it's pulling at my skin a little bit and it has tea tree oil in it so I can feel that on my skin too so it's like a very 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 cool minty breezy feel and it's just not something i feel like i should be using every day this stuff is so good like this is just i love it and i've had it for a few a couple weeks going on three weeks now and i have plenty left and apparently this is a very popular mask it's a lot of people a lot of people have compared it to glam glow super mud which is like 30 dollars more for the same amount or probably close to that i'm not sure but 60 dollars for a mask and i think this one was 28 i think it retails for 28 but i bought it on sale so maybe i spent like 21 or 23 dollars on it I will buy this at full price. It's that good. So if you are in need of something that will completely unclog your pores, you just feel like you got a lot of craziness going on in your skin, you just want to pull everything out, start fresh, this is a good mask to try. Now the next mask I'm going to mention is another mask that my sister mentioned and she used it because she had some darkness going on on her forehead. I'm not sure if it was hyperpigmentation or maybe just leftover from some acne that she had but when I saw her she had nothing on her face. I was just like your skin looks great like what are you using and this is what she recommended. It is the Chinese ginseng and rice clarifying polishing mask. I've used this I think twice now and um, this is what it looks like on the inside very thick creamy and don't let it fool you it doesn't really have like a strong smell or anything and when it goes on it goes on pretty creamy but the longer you let it sit it does start to feel a little bit intense not as much as the charcoal mask but you can definitely feel that something is happening and when it dries it doesn't dry down into like that stiff clay mask like the charcoal one will dry down to um what it really is good at is when it's time to wash it off pulling away that dead skin and revealing the new skin because i noticed that when i was washing the mask off like i like to use a washcloth i never just use um i never just use my hand with water because i'll be there all night and have water all over my arms and the floor <laughs> so i like to take a washcloth and just you know wipe all the mask off one section at a time and what i noticed was like these little like um i don't know what to call it but you know when you rub something off your face and it comes becomes like kind of stringy a little bit because it's grabbing like this dead skin off your face like you could see it how that it was polishing like taking that dead skin off and just my skin just felt so much smoother i feel like this is something that you can definitely use three to four times a week depending on your skin you know everyone's skin is different if you have sensitive skin maybe not so much but it's not as harsh as the other one i'm an advocate for this mask too i just feel like body shop knows what they're doing and this is just something good to have on hand because i struggle with texture as well and i feel like it can really help with texture too now the next mask i'm going to mention is one of the extras that i just bought on my own once i got to the site because i was like "Ooh, that looks good it's the tea tree anti-imperfection night mask this is a mask that you leave on 
and you go to sleep and you wake up, you can, you know, once you wash your face, whatever might be left from it, obviously gets washed off. But while you're wearing it, it doesn't feel like you're wearing something on your face. While it's drying, you are definitely aware of it, but it's not something that when I go to sleep, I feel like I gotta lay in the bed <laughs> like this. You know, I just go to sleep like normal. It absorbs into my skin, no problem. And I wake up in the morning, like today, oh my God, I felt like I have such a good skin day today. This stuff is so good to, when you feel like you're just breaking out and you don't really know, you know, how to calm your skin down, this is something that will definitely calm your skin down. It helps shrink any acne or any pimples that you have on your face. And it does it all while you're sleeping. It looks like a gel, well it is a gel, but when you reach in to like try to get some out, it kind of like bounces back a little bit. Like your finger doesn't easily just dip into it. So what I like to use is a little mask um, applicator. And I like to use that anyway because I don't really like using things on my face where my hands have gone in it a hundred times. So I like to use mask applicators just to keep everything as sanitary as possible. But anyways, it goes on clear. It doesn't have a green, you don't have a green tint to your face or anything like that. And you just rub it in just like you would um, a moisturizer and you don't need a lot. That's what I love about all of these products um, that I've mentioned so far is like you don't need a lot. And they all range from about $22 or somewhere in the 20. So as far as I'm concerned, that's very reasonable for what they are doing and the results that they've been delivering. And they seem to often have sales because I just bought these products you know, a few weeks back and now they're having another 25% off sale. And what's also good about this mask is that it has, I think it's called salicylic acid in it. I think that's how you pronounce it. And that, as we all know, if you've been dealing with acne since you were a teenager, then you already know the benefits of that acid. It helps to shrink down any acne that you have. But the problem that I have is when I get products with that acid in it, it still doesn't really do much. Like I always thought it was like, okay, well maybe it's just me, but. <laughs> <laughs> but um but in this product i just i wake up and it's not even just about like oh i had a couple pimples that were popping up and now they're gone like my whole face feels smooth it feels nice and just like there's the pores are clean like there's no texture going on there's no little bumps here from whatever my phone i, I don't know but i just feel like i have a new face in the morning it just feels so much better another product that when it's empty i will be repurchasing the next product i'm going to mention is another body shop product and that is the tea tree skin clearing clay mask it's a little one this time i want to say it's probably got the same amount as the others but whatever looks like this and i'm pretty sure they have other masks similar to this, like in the same size, same kind of consistency. Um, it's just a matter of what you are dealing with. I'm dealing with a lot of breakout, so tea tree oil is something that my skin seems to be loving right now. This stuff right here though, is super breezy and minty and cool, just like that Himalayan charcoal um, mask. So this is another product that I wouldn't use every day or even every other day. It just, ooh, it's just like, it feels very, it's very, very intense on my skin. And I just feel like anytime something feels like that on my skin, it's kind of like, yeah, this is great, but don't overdo it because you can really irritate your skin. You can strip your skin and change the pH of it. Like so many things can go wrong. So you want to be careful. But um, this is something that I think I could probably go without because I have the overnight tea tree mask and some other products too, but this was just kind of like, hmm, let me try and see how I like it. Um, so far, so good. I've only used it once. Um, I didn't have to use a whole lot. Like, as you can see, like, I still have a good amount left. It spreads very far across the face. You don't have to keep digging in the jar or anything like that. So, yeah, I mean, it's okay. It's good. It's an extra. The next product I'm gonna mention is plain old tea tree oil. Tea tree oil, I'm sure a lot of people already know about it. I knew about it, but I just never bought any because I just felt like, eh, whatever. I'll use facial wash, I'll use moisturizer, I'll use whatever. But I'm glad I finally decided to try it because whenever I have breakouts, because I've been getting these breakouts in the corner, the corner of my head, in the side of my head for a while now. And when I feel another one coming off, because sometimes I get them here too, I'll put this on before I go to sleep. I wake up in the morning and put some more on again. It helps stop the pimple from getting to that point of ignorance when it's like, loud and proud right in the middle of your forehead like no that's not happening with tea tree oil 
So yeah, this is definitely gonna be a staple, something that I always keep on hand because why not? And tea tree oil is just good for your skin anyway. It's also good for your scalp if you have a lot of dryness and flakes going on. The next product I'm gonna mention is the Vitamin C Glow Boosting Microderm Abrasion product. Now, don't let this fool you. When you put it on, the cream has a sandy feel. So when I first put it on, I was like, oh, microderm abrasion. Like, I thought it would be a little bit more like, uh, what you call it? Uh, thought it would be grainier. <laughs> I don't even know if that's a word, but I thought it would be more textured. I don't know. But as I was rubbing it on my face and my chin and my forehead, I was like, okay, okay. I see why it's only sandy because you can start to feel the effects almost immediately. Um, this was something that I decided I wanted to try because I know that vitamin C or any type of exfoliating product with that in it can help brighten dark spots and just give your skin an overall smooth feeling with less texture and give your skin the opportunity to truly glow um, without help of anything, any type of makeup or anything like that. And knowing all that, I still didn't put it on my entire face because I wanted to first see how my skin would react because something like this can get ugly real quick. If you do it too often, if you're too rough with your application, if you're too harsh, you can really make your skin raw and that's not what I wanted to happen. So, so far so good. I will keep you guys up to date on this and I'm excited to see how my skin will look maybe six weeks or even a month from now after having used this. Now the next product I'm gonna mention, it is the Aloe Calming Toner. I really think it's important to have a toner because it can really help to, it can help to balance your skin. Now I've used this toner after using an intense mask and after the Glow Boosting Microdermabrasion Treatment just because I feel like my skin has been like kind of shocked a little bit. It's had a lot of things going on and I need the toner to just calm everything down, to soothe my skin. Definitely would recommend something like this in your cabinet, whether you get it from the body shop or wherever else, just have something there um, to just kind of keep your skin in check. Just clean and refresh all at the same time. And a good thing about this toner is it can also help with removing makeup. I would never use this alone just because yeah, I can use makeup wipes, okay? <laughs> or facial cleanser to do all that. I would probably use this at the very, very end just to make sure that everything was gone. Just in case any little trace got left behind, I would make sure all that was gone by you know putting a little bit of this on a cotton ball. Before we jump into this mask application demo, I just wanted to quickly hop on here and give you a couple of tips for building your own skincare regimen. These are things that help me and it's really just one thing. Just listen to your skin. Don't try to do too much too soon because you need to give your skin a chance to respond and show signs of, hey, this is working. Uh, maybe my skin doesn't like this. It's not really working that well. So just kind of take it a little slow, introduce products slowly, not all in the same week, not all at the same time, because like I said, you have to give your body a chance or your skin a chance to react so you can actually see what's happening. Also, don't get too caught up in what other people are using or name brands or things of that nature. Just kind of figure out what issues you're having with your skin and treat the issue. Hopefully I was able to give you guys some good recommendations. And just in case I didn't say this before, I don't think I said this. I know I used a lot of body shop products, but trust me, this video was not sponsored by them. They just happen to be on top of their game with these skincare products, at least for my skin. So I'm hoping that this lasts for a while. I'm hoping you guys find some success with these products and oh, also, most importantly, make sure that you are using sunscreen on your face uh, when using products like these. Anything that's like uh, clarifying, exfoliating, microdermabrasion, whatever, make sure you're putting sun sunscreen on your face because if you don't, you can uh, leave your skin open to hyperpigmentation, especially with these warm months coming up and the sun is like beaming. Make sure you are protecting that new regenerated skin <laughs> and you aren't you know going to do any damage to your skin by just exposing it to these harsh sun rays and with all that said let's get into this demo so the first thing i like to do before putting a mask on my face is steam my face it just makes it so much easier for the mask to really penetrate and get deep down in my pores to pull out all the impurities and the dirt and the oil and, and any other nasty stuff that's in there as opposed to just putting it on you know straight on my face now where the pores are probably kind of closed or hopefully they they better be closed after all this money that is spent on these products so yeah i like to steam my face and i just feel like it makes for a much better uh, end result and i put the steamer on top of this stuff just to make sure that you know because the steam's going to come here i just wanted to be able to 
really hit my face without me having to like really hunch down <laughs> and duck down under here. So this is like the perfect height for it to steam on my face. You'll see in just a second. This is the steamer that I usually use for my hair. It comes with a attachment for face steaming. So I'll put the link to it if it's still available online. It's the Red Pro steamer. Hopefully it's still available online. If not, there are plenty of steamers on the market. So you shouldn't really have a problem finding one. I missed a spot. <laughs> okay, now that I've gotten all the mask off my face, I'm gonna go ahead and put some toner on, some of that aloe calming toner I showed you guys earlier. Wish I had a cotton ball up here, but I forgot. I'm just gonna use this paper towel. And this is just gonna get my face back. This is gonna rehydrate my skin. Get that balance back in there. So that everything can return to normal. All right, now that I have that, I'm gonna take my Face Hero oil. And this only requires like, let's dry on my face first. A few drops for my whole face, maybe like 30 drops for my whole face. All right, you guys, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you guys got some good information out of it. And don't forget, the Body Shop is having that 25% off sale, so if you wanna try any of the products that I mentioned, now will be the time to do so. Just go ahead and click the links in my description box below. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up, share this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And as always, thanks for watching.